everyone to Trails of Cold Steel 1. I hope you have been enjoying the Let's Play. And if you have, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bells for more. For more. For more. All right. Welcome on back, everybody. Hope y'all have been enjoying the Let's Play. We've been gone for a very long time. So, basically, what happened was uh, PlayStation decided to go from PlayStation Now to PlayStation Plus, and they didn't put Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2 on PlayStation Plus. So, I had to buy both the games, but I had to wait until the end of the month because, you know, um, too much manga. Yeah, but, um, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh my god hold on hold on oh my god. what the hell what's up with his face what the hell is up with his nose first of all why is his nose like four different shades second of all why is his nose a completely different shade from the rest of his face third of all why is his nose so dang big but his nostrils are just so freaking tiny <laughs> Oh man, all right, what I wanted to talk about was, all right, so over this, over this weekend, or week, what, I don't know when the heck, I, it was, it was like a couple days before this freaking episode will, it's like a, probably like a week before this episode will drop, um, I had went to the mall, I went to box lunch, and they had a Kirito figurine and an Asuna figurine. Now, I only got Kirito, and I was showing it off on live, and people were like, oh, well, why did you not get Asuna? If there was Asuna there as well, then you could have had both of them. And I was like, I don't really like Asuna, to be honest. I One, I just didn't like the fact that, like, she just kind of became basically just eh after a while. Like, she's not really, like, like she starts off, like, kind of, like, you know, weak, needs a little bit of help, but you also see that there's, like, some potential there with her, and then she gets super badass and super strong but then she just kind of like thrown to the back and it was like eh, you know you know eh, it wasn't the greatest thing ever it could have been a lot better to be honest uh let me turn this up on this side just a little bit right there that's a lot better um yeah they just kind of like threw it to the back and i was like eh, i don't really like that and then her character kind of like just became like a whole little love interest thing with uh kirito it was like a forced love interest though and i was like one they're like 14 15 and they're a mother and father it was just kind of weird i was like Ugh. and then like why do we have to put so much emphasis on them being a mother and father i don't know what the heck this conversation is about by the way i'm just letting it kind of go across the screen so y'all that want to like actually read this conversation can actually read this conversation um oh yeah it's just finding a bunch of freaking items for him we, we're, we're oh no delivering them yeah delivering them we're basically playing deliver, delivery boy again by the way we already delivered a bunch of freaking uh notebooks now we gotta deliver a bunch of freaking items um yeah i just didn't like all that i don't i see i don't like forced relationships in anime like i get okay so i get in a lot of shonen animes they're gonna do some kind of relationships just because like you know you want to have like some kind of realism there like naruto dragon ball uh my hero black clover etc bleach even as well one piece doesn't really do it so that's why like i really do love one piece but that's a different like there's a the thing though if you look at one piece and you look at my hero or actually specifically my hero not one piece my hero does not force any relationships the fandom does but the anime does not as opposed to other anime like naruto like dragon ball like the whole naruto hinata goku and chi chi didn't really seem worth it at all in my opinion especially naruto and hinata because like Hinata literally wanted to be a ninja and then just never gets any stronger at all. Okay, so we have to go to the first floor. We have to go to class two dormitory. Where, where do we actually? Okay, I probably should. What the heck? That was just so weird. It is 4th of July, by the way. I mean, not 4th of July, but it's like the weekend. So I'm hoping y'all can't hear anything in the background. But yeah, you know what? We'll just, oh, we're go oh I, I have turbo on. Okay, <laughs> that was weird. Um. 
yeah so i i don't really like how like forced relationships happen in anime i think it's just kind of eh, at best i feel like they can be handled a lot better but they're never really handled that great in this game however i'm pretty sure you guys can already kind of see um the relationship that's going on where the heck is it at there we go the relationship that's going on with like um reen and um reen and what the heck is her name uh reen and reen and reen and, okay, cooking club pawn shop and radio trista all right bet uh reen and elisa you guys can already kind of see that it's like happening you are just gonna keep getting in the way aren't you yeah it's always you okay that is Bobby get the sage. sage. It's not what we need though. Like y'all can kind of already see like like the relationships there, but it's not like it's not forced though. Like they're actually flushing it out, and that's when I like like that that that's what seems really good. Don't force the relationship. So that's why I didn't get the Asuna one, because I just don't really care for her character. I thought it was just kind of like eh, best. I, th I thought her character was all right. Maybe she gets better later on. I've only seen up to season two, so I can't really speak too much on it. But even season two, she's just not even shown at all. Damn. Who thought an item break right after I paid for it? My goodness. My goodness. I, I mean, I feel bad for you. Hey, that's why I keep all my receipts. I keep every one of my receipts because if any of them items break right right after, or like if, if any of the items break, I'll, I'll usually just be like, hey, yo, the item came broken. So like, yeah, can I get like a new one? But yeah, I I just no, I'm not a, not a fan of Austin at all. Hey, Blade! This is did we, nobody ever played Blade in the other game. I think we played a different. I think we played a different one in the other game. But yeah, it's pretty fun though. I wish they had like this game and the other game actually in Trails of Cold, like in like real world, because it seemed pretty fun to play. Speaking of card games, I started playing Pokemon card game recently. Um, not that, not 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 that difficult. Um. It's kind of like how I predict, predicted it was gonna be. I've never really, I, I've never played it before, uh, so I didn't know I like all the rules. I don't like the whole little like prize card thing. I think that's like really frustrating to really understand. I prefer like just knocking out six Pokemon or decking out or, or like not having um, any Pokemon on your bench after your active Pokemon gets knocked out. I think that's a, I, I like that a lot more. It just it feels like a lot better. We gotta go to Radio Trist. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, by the way, if you want to hang out and play uh, Pokemon with me uh, in my Discord, which is in the link in the descriptions, we, we will be playing Pokemon from time to time. So, yeah. Or Yu-Gi-Oh! or whatever we want to play. Like, it's 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 really just like, like a, a voice chat. You can, like, FaceTime and play card games together and stuff like that. So, yeah. If y'all ever want to do that, go join the Discord. Or just join, join the Discord and talk random stuff with us. All right. So, let's see. You can wait on the sofa over there if you like. Oh, yeah. No, we're, I forgot what we were doing here. Wow, you, you, you look like you, um, you look like, you look like a magnet when it gets all of like that little stuff on it. Like your, your, your beard does not look the greatest. <laughs> it doesn't really look the greatest. It, it just, it looks like so ra random. Your mustache looks even worse. Matter of fact, it looks like you just fell in like dirt and you just got it all stuck to your face. You probably should save, save that, dude. You, you, you really shouldn't keep that. But I will say I do like your suspendies. Get the suspenders on with your trousers. Bro, why does your arm hair look better than your face hair? Why do you also have the same hair color as Rain almost? Actually, you're the same color. You have, you have the same, the exact same hair color as Rain in Trail of the Cold Steel 3. The exact same hair color. You know, I really hated that, um, what PS, what PlayStation did because I was like halfway into Trails of Cold Steel 2, but the freaking thing did not save because of the fact that they were took off there. Cause like the fact that like they're taken off of there. So they didn't save. Like I, I guess all my save file went away. So I wasn't able to upload the save for that game or for this game. So I had to like run back and do all the stuff all over again. Thankfully there's like, I mean, there's like a, a, like a speed up option, but there's no freaking skipping option. I hate that so much. Oh, I was speaking about the relationships in this game too. Um, a lot of the relationships are actually done pretty well in this game. Even like like the friendships, they're not actually forced. Like they do a good job of showing off the friendships, like showing off going from hatred, from hating each other to befriending each other and stuff like that. And it, it wow, I don't know what that just happened right there. It's it's really good overall. It, it's very much realistic. 
but yeah there is obviously things i hate about this game which the biggest one is the no freaking skipping cut scenes like i guess i get it to an extent because like no 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 never mind never mind, never mind. I, I don't get it at all because i've said this i said the exact same thing about pokemon uh why isn't there an option to turn off the um the exp share it's not the hardest thing to do faculty lounge principal's office conference room god dang it yeah there should be like an option for that so not having an option like not having the option to be able to skip a cutscene. It, it's not a it's not a good thing in my opinion i get like you want people to pay attention to the story and all but like no are, wait, are any of these is it, is it just gonna say cooking room custodian's room no uh over here no 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 oh my gosh oh my gosh where is the cooking room at all right if i was a cooking room where would i be at specifically I don't get why the cooking room is gonna be upstairs, but okay. No, no. Oh my gosh. No, no. Bro, what the hell? Where is this damn cooking room at? Music room. Home ec. Will this be it? Yes, thank you very much. Why are you upstairs for? Is this, is this kind of like unsafe to have a cooking room upstairs? Like there's a fire. Wouldn't you want it like on like the lower floor? I don't know, I feel like it'd be like a lot better. But then again, I guess I could also see the case for having it on the upper floor. So like the fire doesn't like spread upwards. It, it, and it'll take a lot longer to spread downwards than it would spread than it would to spread upwards. So I guess that would make more sense, but this isn't the top room though. There's like still a whole Oh never mind. No, this actually is technically the top room. There's the freaking um The roof is next. This girl looks really freaking odd. I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about her character. Like her lips. I don't like her lips. They just look so dang huge. But like, see, like huge in a bad way. Like the pink, it's just, get rid of the pink. Put it like a different color, like red. The pink just looks weird. Her hair is also really freaking annoying too. Why do you have bangs and like some twirls as well? What was the point of that? Couldn't I also just throw in, like this freaking recipe book into your room via the window? Like I could have literally just yelled out, hey, here's your recipe book and just thrown it in. Thanks for this recipe. Thanks for all this stuff too, by the way. You're you're a very nice chef. You're a top tier chef and I also like your trousers. I like the pants, the trousers. They look nice. I said pants just for case anybody doesn't know, anybody doesn't know what that trousers are. You never know nowadays of people, by the way, Last time I seen y'all, I had only like a couple thousand, I only like like 1,000 subscribers, or like 1,600. We had like, we had like over a thousand subscribers in like the past week, past like a week and a half. So I definitely, can I get the hell out of this damn corner? So I definitely appreciate y'all. I know I've been like saying that like on like the Pokemon. I, I, I know I, I know I said it already on the on the Pokemon Let's Play, but I felt like saying it here as well, just in case like y'all didn't hear it on that one. All right, now let's go talk to the principal because I believe that's the last thing, right? Oh no, we have to go back to the engineer the engineer building. All right, let's go back over here. Let's go talk to little Georgia George with your weird nose and your, is that like a pancake maker in the background? Do you make incredibly large pancakes with that? Or maybe you, um, no, that's more like a fryer. You're probably like fr frying up some good stuff in there. You need to fry up a new nose. That's what you need to do. Well, they're certainly all unique. None of them, none of them are places I normally go either. Hmm. I might have wandered into the home economics room eventually, but not the pawn shop or the radio station. See, this is what I also like about this game too. Um, if you do, like, you're not forced to do the side quest. And some of these quests you actually are forced to do, but like, I like how the quest, like they kind of like force you to travel and go to places you normally wouldn't. Cause a lot of times the quest will usually, like in games, they'll usually take you to like, They'll, they'll take you to somewhere that like you most likely would have gone to anyways like a mountain or an ocean or go to like a specific person's house but it's like you would have gone there anyways because you would have to have gone there whereas in this game you don't have to go to like the home ec room you don't have to go to like the cooking you don't have to go to the pawn shop you don't have to go to radio trista so it's like it's, it's cool just to be able to like explore other places and granted not like in this game, they don't like look the most detailed at times. 
some of them are kind of like basic details but it's it's still like just like you're getting like see more of the um more of the of the world and it's really cool to me especially with the side quest because you get even like you go to places that you literally would never touch like radio trista you have like probably like a five percent chance of going there if you never forced to these side quests you you have a zero percent chance of ever going there if you did not have like a quest for it so it is really actually it's it's really really cool and i love that i love that like they want to show off the world and they don't it's not just a go do this quest go do that quest go do this quest go like go do the main quest go go do the main quest like because really they could have just said go hand go handle the stuff of principal van dyke which is the um the house that we went to in a couple like a couple episodes back i think like episode one or two like actual episode like titled episode one or two not episode zero um so yeah they could have just done that and you would have just never had known about the rest of the world around about like the rest of the school and again like it's not like the most in-depth world building like you don't get to like just go travel and go see the rest of um of like arabonia but you get to see enough of the parts that you search that it still looks really cool it's 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 still like it's like not unique but it's really nice that they do that i will say that, wait you're wearing a hat i did not know he was wearing a hat this whole time i thought he was wearing like one of the freaking little um thing that the things that like swimmers wear because like the freaking goggles did not know that was a hat okay goodness gracious I'm tired, but I also heard like the freaking fireworks going off. So it was a good time. It's a good time to mute my mic for a second because these dang fireworks are pretty loud in the back. I don't know why we're even. I, I, I'm a. All right, look, I'm not trying to get too political. I'm just gonna say this one thing real quick, and then we gonna just go right on from it. I don't know why we celebrating Fourth of July with the way that everything's happening, right? All all the bullshit's happening right now. I I. I mean, okay. To stay on this topic just for a second I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go into like the political side of it but i'm gonna go into the other i'm gonna go into like the other side of it and the fact that when we as a people don't like something we should stop supporting that something like we should just stop so let's or like we as a people and that, that means anything like hey a, gr a group of, a group of people four or five people you know you got like a friend you don't like Stop talking to that person don't just keep talking to that person even though you don't like them i don't i don't get that i don't i don't per i i really don't understand that um if you don't like what a certain company is doing why keep supporting that company why keep going to that company's like um i don't i i don't want to say like any random names because i'm not trying to like piss anybody off I don't, not that i don't not that like i care about pissing people off because i truly don't care but it's like I, I don't I don't need to like send shots for no reason but like let's say like you your your favorite coffee shop or your favorite fast food place they do some effed up stuff why keep going there where is principal van dyke's room at was it downstairs it was downstairs wasn't it yeah it was I'm stupid can I just I can't huh nope uh no Oh my goodness my bad i am really tired it's it's like super late when i'm recording this but um yeah that's just like my thing on it like why keep supporting it why keep like why keep going there because that's how i am hey once i find out some stuff that i don't like about something or once i find out like that like someone's doing something i stop associating with that person because i don't feel like it's i feel like it's unnecessary to do that but a lot of people will still keep doing it for whatever reason like a coffee shop that i stopped going to for a while i won't say the name of it because everybody i don't want anybody to think i'm like trying to like get people to like i force people into my beliefs so i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna say the name of it but i stopped going there for, uh, i stopped going there because i just didn't like like what they were doing went to another coffee shop that's what i did i just went to a new one a lot of y'all are like afraid not everybody there's a good chunk of y'all that are afraid to try new things so you'll keep supporting that are afraid to try new things or afraid to get rid of old things so you'll keep supporting it even though you don't want to be around it even though you don't like it 
and y'all gotta stop that y'all really gotta stop that you, you can't if you don't like something just stay away from it it's that simple like i i i hate the fact that like i have to say these things all the time but granted i'm a teacher so i like I, I literally gave this exact same speech at least 20 times this past school year probably more than that to be honest um yeah it's one of those things that like you get well, it's one of those things you get used to as a teacher where like you're basically repeating yourself every single freaking day not a bad thing by the way i i i i think it's like actually good just to say these things a, a lot of times so people will actually hopefully hopefully not actually hopefully will listen at least one of the times like you know if you say it enough times maybe eventually someone will start listening and they'll be like hey you know what you're actually right i shouldn't be supporting that i shouldn't keep doing that i shouldn't keep being around that person i shouldn't keep being around that company so that's just my thing like with the whole fourth july thing because i've seen a lot of people were mad about the decision that happened yet they're still supporting they're still shooting off fireworks they're still doing all these things and it's like mm, i don't really get it i don't really get it that doesn't make any sense to me it it, it kind of just it kind of shows me the tr it, it it shows me what i've already known about a lot of people that a lot of people aren't being so truthful it's not that they fully care it's just that they half care like now they're half mad about the decision that was made but they're still gonna go celebrate they're still gonna go shoot off fireworks let me tell you right now if i was them even if someone said like hey you want to come to a barbecue and i'm gonna be like y'all got fireworks there y'all celebrating fourth of july and they're like yeah i'm like all right no i'm not going that's what i would do that, that, that that's literally like my that would be like my stance can't you yeah, i mean that's it just shows me a lot of people aren't um for lack of better terms for lack of better words aren't real why did i try walking into the door i thought i was gonna be able to like actually like just walk in and i have to do all this it shows me a lot of people aren't real and they kind of like just speak about stuff but they don't really believe it then they're, they're not like fully in they're not like fully into it they just want to look cool and again hey like i've said like like i've said plenty of times i don't try to act like i'm better than anybody that's not that's not what i'm trying to i i don't want that to come across like i am trying to act like i'm better than anybody because i don't think i'm better than anybody but i think when it comes to certain things i'm better than people in those areas i definitely think that because i know what i'm what i'm good at and what i'm not good at so i definitely think that like when it comes to um standing on morals yeah i i, I definitely think i'm a lot better than a lot of people a lot of people don't know how to because a lot of people do not know how to stand on their morals that's one of the things i'm not really that good at i gotta learn how to like get get my speech proper i don't I gotta learn how to like when i like get this is why i don't talk about certain things because I, I get like i get like too passionate how do you uh oh there we go no how do you there we go oh fine oh, why is it the circle button why isn't it, why isn't it just just like the start button why 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 does the circle button uh, allow you to go continue so weird i wish every game would just keep like a, like a select thing like hey, start button in these kind of menus allows you to get progress continue progress circle button is for back i don't know i i guess i've been playing too much pokemon lately and see just like b button is for like to like cancel or to go back x x or a a yeah a button is to go forward all right oh that's one of the other things i don't like in this game the freaking art um people like elliot and um emma emma yeah elliot and emma so okay they they both use orbital staffs which basically use orbital like they use orbital energy i.e as i.e arts like their attacks all are all arts based yet they don't waste arts it's ep is it ep i think it's ep let me see uh yeah they yeah okay they don't waste ep so you would never know that their attacks are are arts attacks because it doesn't tell you that that's one of the other things i don't like about this game is that they don't tell you certain things like that it just kind of treats it like any other regular attack so when you have to attack enemies that are that are more weak to arts and not and not physical attacks you wouldn't even know it 
you you wouldn't even know that hey instead of using my freaking arts i could just use my regular attack or my craft because all the crafts with that character work like arts so the character so if the if the monster's weak to arts you could just use the craft instead of wasting arts it just it, it seems like something that like you you would think of, you would think of like they would tell i think there's other characters too um I don't know this specifically, so don't quote me on this, but I think characters like Yuna with her gun from Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4, um, Machius and his gun, Elisa and her arrow, I think those also count as arts-based attacks. Or at least like special attacks. Like, it's, like may maybe that's what they could have done. Is differentiated what's a physical attack and what's a special attack and which enemies are weak to which attacks that would have been a lot better I, th I feel like that would have been just so much better it's it's just something that's like less confusing you know all right um let's see I don't know either because we didn't the entire layout here has changed completely oh yeah duh. each time you go down the, the, the layout changes completely we're gonna keep going duh come on Gaius and Elliot we have to keep investigating Elliot you always look sad you always just look so sad Elliot <laughs> Elliot always just looks so nervous he's always like oh great we're gonna do this all right let's just keep going you know what this might be a bit longer episode but again it's whatever that looks really freaking weird i wonder who the heck was coming up with the monsters for this game and like what were they on like what exactly w were they partaking in when making these monsters but yeah nothing ever tells it though there's not like any special attacks and no physical attacks like it, it it just it seems like it'd be something that, that'd be like a lot better to tell okay let's go to the tactics real quick i do like this you can kind of like move people you can like at like like the beginning of a fight this will be how they're set up i do like that let's have him a little closer though oh whoops i didn't even see that uh tactics no i don't want that how do you freaking link them oh set link there we go yeah i do like that that that's like really fun to me it's it seems like very um triangle strategy triangle strategy to me so i really like that Performing attacks and certain crafts gives characters a chance to unbound. Okay, I know about this already. It's I, I literally know about this. Like, this is what I. This is me right here, okay? This is me. This is me! Thrust. Got that looks so freaking slow. Okay, Resounding Beast not gonna do nothing. Um, Are you weak to water? You're not weak to water. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, that see that's a water attack. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like that would be good to know right there. What attack was that? But all right, whatever. Um, uh, go autumn cutter. Yeah, let's go autumn cutter. Okay, you know what? We're going. We're putting. I'm putting the turbo on. It just seems so freaking slow without turbo. It seems like it's just like a lot better with turbo on too. Wow, it just it feels so slow. I don't know why it feels like granted I know it's like switching like it's me switching from turbo to to regular so it's gonna feel slower but it just feels so slow like I didn't even realize how slow it actually was do you have like a regular art okay you do have tier uh we'll go with that one let's go come on ring come on Gaius let's go okay that wasn't really that much damage either so I guess that probably wasn't worth it nice let's finish it off the winds must be on our side. They must no be, that was motion a fist bump. See, that was slow. You can't tell me nice. that was not slow. That was super freaking slow. Well, that sure seemed to do the trick. Yeah, we fought well. Hmm, if we can master these combat links, I'm sure they'll prove really useful in the battles ahead. We should probably try to practice as much as possible while the stakes are low and get used to them as we can. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, you can now access the yada 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 section about combat links. Combat links are a new feature likely to be a likely to be of vital importance in the battles ahead. By strengthening partners' bonds with one another, they can use powerful link abilities together, such as finishing blow and cover. Ah, oh, so combat links weren't in uh, trails trails to Azure and trails of 
the zero and azure games there we go i i keep forgetting that both of their titles no i keep forgetting the zero you know i, I keep forgetting both titles i i don't know i don't remember how like the freaking title names work deals all types of damage at once but his chances of success deals all types of damage at once but his chances of successfully unbalancing an enemy are low as a result see that doesn't tell me anything that doesn't tell me anything that does not tell me what elliot is good at and what he's not good at what are we doing here um i don't know how to fucking pick the damn mic damn map up okay never mind that looks so stupid <laughs> i want to get the other one back though that was funny So we should be fine. What? The I mean, yeah, you look better designed than the other enemies, at least. So there's that. Oh, you're actually turned. pretty tall. You you look short at first, so I couldn't tell how tall you actually were. Tough, that one was a tough battle still we made it through we sure did and i'm really starting to get hang get the hang of these combat links now too feels like the arcus has practically synchronized my breathing with the two of you this is a breathing technique holy crap this is this is um arcus breathing that's crazy yo something 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 deep can happen ah never mind Sure looks that way. I didn't see any other routes we could have taken. It really does seem like the entire structure of, of these ruins has changed completely since we were last year. Y yeah, it's a little hard to believe. Hmm. I guess this means we're we're done here. Oh, wait, we're done down here. All right, time to head on back. And that'll be it for now, y'all. Definitely hope y'all did enjoy this episode. As always, if you did, drop a like, subscribe, hit the notification bells for more links. Everything will be in the description below. Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, YouTube, Plays, Thingamajiggy, all that good stuff. Not Twitter, though. I don't have a Twitter anymore. Um, yeah, that'll be it for now. Definitely hope y'all did enjoy this. Hope y'all are enjoying all the shorts, the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer. Hope y'all are enjoying all the new content that's coming to the channel. There's going to be a lot more coming soon. But for now, have a, have a great one, everybody. Peace. Bye. Oh, what a shame. I'm using a secret recipe that will make anyone who, who eats it fall madly in love with me, too. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on.